bringing this uh, broadcast with an important update. Of course, uh, we have lost a legend when it comes to the music industry, a gem in the name of singer KK. The versatile singer passed away after a live concert in Kolkata last night. He was just 53. The singer died of a suspected heart attack after he collapsed in his hotel room. Kolkata police has formed eight-member forensic team and uh, they have, have in fact probed the unnatural death and the autopsy also claims that KK passed away due to a massive heart attack. Meanwhile, the West Bengal police gave a gun salute to KK in the presence of Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The late singer's autopsy uh, has revealed that it was a massive heart attack that in fact claimed the singer's life as he had weak lungs and also liver problems. His family members were also spotted outside the, uh, the autopsy block. However, music industry is in a complete shock, not just the music in industry in fact, the entire country where people, not just actors who have lip sung on the numbers that KK has sung, but also people from all walks, including the Prime Minister of the country and also Chief Minister of uh, Delhi, like Arvind Kejriwal, Mamta Banji, for that matter, all of them coming together to condole the singer's untimely demise, something that uh, has come in as a shock to many who received the bad news last night when uh, the world really woke up to uh, singer KK not uh, being any more. In fact, he lost his life to a massive cardiac arrest. Uh, these are last visuals of KK as he was spotted at uh, Kolkata where he'd gone to the Nazrul Manch where he was supposed to be performing. Incidentally, the last song that he performed before he left the world was the song that he is, you know, popularly known and will always be remembered by. Pal Ye Hai Pyar Ke Pal, the song that has forever been associated with KK, something that actually got him to the block, uh, is the last song that he also sung in front of a live audience there in Kolkata. And uh, this is a poetic justice for a singer uh, who has a mellifluous nature. In fact, all his songs were something that spoke about love. The versatility of KK is something that has been uh, always always celebrated and we continue to do this on the broadcast as well as uh, we pay tribute to KK. So a day after KK died an unnatural death after his live concert in Kolkata questions so over the management also was uh, something that people were talking about. However, the autopsy report has uh, come in and the doctors who were uh, taking care of that report have also come on record and said that it is a case of a massive cardiac arrest. And they've also said that KK had weak lungs and uh, this is something that added to the woes. And the singer, once he reached his hotel room, probably crashed and is when he died. He also suffered injuries on his head. That was something that was being looked at. However, that came in as a shock to many as people got to know that KK, all of 53, is no more. To 7,000 students attended that concert in uh, Kolkata at the Nazrul Manch. So the auditorium capacity was just about 2,500. However, 7,000 students were there and he was performing in front of that loud uh, and a large audience and after which he was taken away after he was not feeling okay and after of course he sung that last song of his pal ye hai pyar ke pal uh, yaad aayenge ye pal something that uh, kk has left us to actually reminisce on and obviously people who celebrate kk ce celebrate him with this song that is now rendered iconic because of the voice so India is devastated by the untimely death of the singer. We are getting in more reactions who are condoling his death. Let's take a look at that. My career, he was part of my lots of songs. Airlift ke gaane bhi usne ek bahut bada gaana gaya tha. And it was a very shocking thing what happened last night. Main bhi tabhi hi lota tha. And I heard that. And uh, it's very sad that Lots of our singers, we're losing them. And it happened in a very young age. 
Joining me on the broadcast is Shivamani, someone who knew KK really well, has worked with KK even in his uh, all through the last days that he was actually judging this concert. Shivamani, thank you so much for joining me and being part of this very important conversation as we celebrate KK. Unfortunate day today, but uh, his songs are iconic. We will continue to remember him through his uh, songs. It's a big shocking uh, last night when I heard this news and I worked with KK, with A. R. Rahman songs. And uh, my last meeting, uh, we did uh, Sarigamapa. We were all together, Shankar, all. We had the backstage, we had a nice, and it's a great, he's a very, uh, you know, uh, very kind, that human, good human. Uh, we, it's a big loss. I don't know, God, taken so early and it's, it's a, I just pray for his soul. My condolence to the family, and uh, we miss him. And yeah. Shivamani, just uh, tell us about KK. How was he like? Because I was myself remembering my own reporting days. I've happened to meet him in uh, the national capital. And despite me having to wait at a concert where he was performing, of course, people were thronging the concert. There were so many people willing to, you know, just listen to KK. I went backstage after having waited till about 11 p.m. And his warmth was some uh, something that greeted me. And he said, did you have to wait long? That was the kind of warmth. And I just forgot that entire long wait that is the kind of enigma that the man commanded and of course the warmth that's that i still remember and talking about years ago yeah we, we actually uh, i used to be the kk a lot of time in the aircraft uh some airports hey where are you going no i'm just performing here we just and I happened to jam in ar studio uh with kk and uh, you know uh it is uh yeah and he's a very, uh, uh, very down to earth person, and uh, and the way he just uh, respect other artists, and um, and I also jammed in Bangalore uh, in the one of the uh, festival uh, in Bangalore, and uh, yeah, it's shocking, shocking for me, and uh, and I just pray for his soul. Yeah. And this year, I'm telling... Shivamani, uh, if we talk about the music, everybody talks about uh, the versatility of KK. Of course, the man sang in every language possible. That is the kind of versatile nature that his songs really had. And uh, uh, everybody will, of course, talk about Pal, but uh, he goes way back. Uh, there was, uh, you know, the Gulzar film, Marches, uh, the Vishal Bhardwaj, uh, uh, where Vishal Bhardwaj had given music. And in fact, that was something where he'd sung the very popular song, Chhod Hai Ham there was a small yeah. portion that KK had sung. Not many people know about that. So that was something that actually brought him to the scene much before Tadap Tadap happened as far as the Hindi film industry debut is concerned. So this is also the, something that we must talk about when we are remembering KK. Yes, that is the song Apadi Podu, Apadi Podu uh, in Tamil. One of the, it's uh, kind of uh, for the, all the uh, all the young, uh, all the students and it's a very very uh, fast song and uh, dance and the way he sang that song it's just amazing and uh, even uh, for uh, uh, Raji Menon movie also he sang and uh, yeah, AR composition so these songs I, I really uh, I just uh, happened to play along with him and uh, it's uh, he's a great singer yeah If I uh, were to ask you about uh, more memories that you can share about KK, the person that he was, of course, everybody talks about uh, the warmth like uh, we were just about mentioning, but what was he like before he went into a performance, before he actually decided to say yes to a particular song? Did he have a certain type? Uh, did he always want to be associated with songs of a certain nature or he just uh, used to you know, go ahead with anything that was his calling and he used to just give his heart to it? He's a stage performer. He goes like anything on the spot. And uh, which song, he, there's a no uh, thing. He, anything he can already be jam. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, he's ready. He's a stage uh, guy to just jam any at the moment. And uh, yeah. 
It's a big loss, big loss. I couldn't believe. Uh, I just pray for his soul, man. Right. Shivamani, have you uh, have you spoken to anyone? Have you spoken to his family members? No, I'm just trying uh, uh, to get, uh, but uh, I had his only personal number, but uh, it's the phone is switched off, and I'm just, I have my condolence to the family, mm -hmm. and I just pray, yeah. And before we let you go, I mean, I have to ask you, your favorite KK song, what would that be, Shivmani? Uh, it's a lot of song is there, and... Uh, um, that will be uh, Apudi Pode, uh, the Peppy song he has sang. Yeah. All right, uh, Shivamani, thank you so much for being a part of this conversation and sharing in the memory that you have of KK, that you will continue to have of the singer, of course, a great one with a mellifluous voice. And let's take uh, our audience, in fact, back to his last song, Hum Rahe Ya Na Rahe Kal. That is something that was the last song that he sung on the stage while he performed last night in Kolkata. Let's take a look at that.